A hearty good morning to all. From our grammar book, I'll explain a lesson for you today. So turn page number twelve. In our page number twelve, we have lesson three, and in lesson three, we have pronouns. Okay. So we learn something of pronouns today. A pronoun is often defined as a word which can be used instead of a noun. Means a pronoun is a word we use in the place of a noun. Some examples I am giving you. So look in here. Some examples I have brought for you. Examples are I, we, you, he, she, it, and they. All right. So all these are the examples of. pronouns now in the definition it is given pronoun is a word we use in the place of a noun how pronoun takes the place of a noun that also we have to understand so here as an example i have written one sentence for you all the first sentence mohan is absent because mohan is ill this is our first sentence below that second sentence also you can see but some changes are there second sentence i have written mohan is absent because he is ill the first sentence and the second sentence are not similar some words are changing where the first sentence two mohans are there the second mohan is changed into he means mohan is noun and in that noun the second sentence pronoun is used instead of the word mohan the word he is used and he is a he is an example of pronoun isn't it so like that we got the definition of pronoun and the example of pronouns and an example as a sentence also so pronoun definition and example is over okay now let us move ahead and know something more about pronouns okay welcome back to the lesson after our definition and example we'll see the kinds of pronouns in kinds of pronouns our first pronoun is personal pronoun personal pronoun represents specific people or things these pronouns are used for persons and things examples are given in our subject pronoun the words are i you he she it we and they in our object pronoun the words are given me you him her it us and them so all these are the examples of personal pronouns all right all these words now our second point second point is possessive pronouns possessive pronoun denotes ownership or possession these pronouns shows that someone owns something for example the words for pronoun is given in a book mine yours his hers its ours and theirs come to page number 13 a third point for the kinds of pronoun is demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronoun identifies and specifies a noun these pronouns points out the things that they describe 
there are only four words for our demonstrative pronouns first is this then that these and last is our those only four words are there for our demonstrative pronouns come to your fourth point fourth point is reflexive pronouns reflexive pronoun indicates that the action performed by the subject is on the subject itself it refers back to the subject of the sentence there are eight reflexive pronouns for the singular we have myself yourself himself herself and itself as a plural some words are there such as ourselves yourselves and themselves these are all the words which belong to reflexive pronouns fifth is our emphatic pronouns like reflexive pronoun the emphatic pronoun has the similar words for the singular and the plural they are myself yourself himself herself itself ourselves yourselves and themselves so the words for reflexive pronouns and the words for emphatic pronouns are same but now let us see the difference between a reflexive pronoun and an emphatic pronoun reflexive pronoun is an important part of a sentence if we remove it the sentence will not be complete right on the other hand if an emphatic pronoun is removed the sentence will still make complete sense clear so the difference between reflexive pronouns and emphatic pronouns is clear now come to your sixth point in our sixth point we have indefinite pronouns okay sometimes the pronouns used in a sentence do not refer to any particular object or person they are used in a general way such pronouns are known as indefinite pronouns for our indefinite pronouns the words are given somebody someone something anybody anyone some more words are there turn your page come to page number 14 anything everybody everyone everything nobody no one none and last is our nothing like this our lesson 3 is over today so keep on learning take care thank you